This DVD on a neurological assessment of a diver has been prepared by IMCA. IMCA is the International Trade Association for Offshore, Marine and Underwater Engineering Companies. IMCA provides guidelines of accepted amalgamated industry good practice. This includes a number of guidelines for professional offshore diving. It is intended that this DVD is used as an introduction to the start of structured training on undertaking a neurological examination of a diver. The purpose of the DVD is not to set out detailed instruction on undertaking such an examination, but rather to aid formal training on undertaking an assessment. The DVD can then be used to provide refresher training on undertaking the neurological assessment of a diver. Diving in the offshore oil industry is one of the most regulated operations in the modern workplace. There is an infrastructure of procedures and systems designed to minimize risk and emphasize care and security for diving personnel at work. Divers perform emergency drills and exercises to enhance their response times. This ensures they are ready to deal with potential incidents. However, in the case of an unplanned event resulting in injury to a diver or where decompression illness is suspected, the first vital step is to get him back to the bell and into the chamber system, or in the case of surface-orientated diving, to the designated decompression chamber where assessment and treatment are available. If the preliminary diagnosis or history of the dive shows the need for recompression, neurological assessment must not delay such treatment. The examination should then be repeated periodically at depth and after surfacing. Some divers might be taken to onshore establishments. Neurological problems can occur in accidents from all types of diving, most commonly in poorly controlled amateur scuba diving and rarely in professional diving. Because incidents are rare, neurological assessment is carried out infrequently. This introductory video shows some routinely required procedures for undertaking such an assessment. Doctors may ask for others to be carried out. In any emergency situation, one of the most important response elements is good communication. Many factors can cause important information to be lost, such as poor equipment, helium speech, stress which causes rapid speech or passing incorrect information and language difficulties, including strong accents. Mark? Mark, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Mark? You're right, Mark. No. Mark, Mark. What's up, mate? I don't know. Feel ropey. Something's not right. Right, we'll just we'll just sit you back then. Okay. That's it. You okay? You okay? No, I'm not well. You're not well, no. No. Okay then. Be alert for changes in consciousness, not just increasing drowsiness, but also agitation. Okay, Mark. You okay. Well, just calm down. Just come over here. Just have a seat for now. Just relax. Also check for memory changes and orientation. Does the diver know where he is, what day it is, etc.? So what are you doing on the bottom today, Mark? Oh, flanges. I was flanging, yeah. And who was on the panel? Who was your supervisor? My supervisor was, uh, for most of my dive, was Dave. And what, uh, what was your breakfast today when you got a shake? Oh, I had cereal and toast. OK. Observe the patient generally. Is his behaviour typical? Is his walk normal? Can he manage walking heel to toe? Some of these tests may not be possible if a vessel is moving significantly. OK, that's the heel-to-toe test complete. OK, it's time to go back on bibs. Roger. Back on bibs, Mark. 
For suspected decompression illness, treatment by pressure and oxygen are the priorities. The neurological examination can fit around the oxygen breathing cycles. Off bibs. Roger, off bibs. Off bibs, Mark. Next is the Romberg test. Okay, I don't really understand the Romberg test. Okay, that's the one where you have the divers stand feet together, eyes shut, arms out, palms up. Okay, Mark, I just want you to stand with your feet together, put your arms out in front of you, palms up, and close your eyes. Okay, I'll just give you a little shove. And again. Be prepared to catch an unstable diver when the eyes are shut. Okay, Mark, just stand with your arms out to your side and your eyes closed and your head back a bit. Just touch your nose with your fingertip, alternating arms. If you are unsure of any procedure, ask for advice. Do not pretend knowledge or conduct tests inefficiently because of lack of information. In this test, remember that the stronger hand, usually the right, can move more rapidly in the healthy person. The next few tests check the group of nerves that are found in the lower part of the brain. Abnormal responses can indicate what kind of lesion may have occurred. In all these tests, check for imbalance between right and left, irregularity, poor reactions, etc. Okay, Mark, I'll give you this to read. Just cover your left eye and read the top paragraph, please. Superintendent shift handover. Task completed last 12 hours. SCM 2 changed. SCM 4 changed. Okay, just cover the other eye, that's it, and uh, read it again. Superintendent shift handover. Task completed last 12 hours. SCM 2 changed. SCM4 changed. Okay, that's fine. So, take your hand away. And any, any problems, any blurring of vision? Anything like that? Any spots in front of your eyes? No, or? negative. No, just no. normal? Everything fine, no problems. Okay. Okay, Mike, if you cover your right eye and I'll check your field of vision. Just tell me when you see movement. Yes. 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 Okay, and the same with the other eye? Yes. 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 Okay, that's fine. Follow my finger with your eyes only. And again. The pupils are easily tested. Look for constriction, dilation, equal size and reaction. When a light is shone into the eye, the pupils of both eyes will constrict. Any abnormal sign should be noted and conveyed to the medical team. You can squeeze your eyes together nice and tight. Okay, that's fine. And then clench your jaw really tight for me. Okay, that's fine. And just close your eyes and tell me if you can feel this sensation. 
Yes. 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 Okay, I'm just going to test your hearing, Mark. Okay. Yes, I can hear that. Yes, I can hear that. Just let me know when you start to hear this. Yes. Hearing can be tested using a number of methods, but may be difficult due to background yes. noise. If in doubt, have the equipment turned off briefly. Yes. Yes. OK, Mark, if you could say R for me. Ah. Uh, OK, stick your tongue fully out, please. OK, and uh, if you could swallow. Does the tongue come out straight, or does it deviate to right or left? OK, Mark, I'm just going to test your muscle strength now. OK. Just uh, turn your head against my hand. That's fine. And the other side. That's fine, OK. OK, shrug up for me and try and stop me pushing you down. OK. Take my hands and squeeze them. OK, pull me to you and push me away from you. OK, Mark, I'm just going to test your muscle strength. If you can try and uh, raise your knee to yourself. It is common for a diver with yeah, decompression nice. illness to experience muscle weakness. Check both upper and lower body yeah, using resistance provided by the examiner. Okay, just try and straighten your leg. OK, that's fine. The same with this leg. OK, that's fine. Mark, I just want you to tell me the difference between the sensations of sharp and blunt. So it'll be either sharp or blunt okay just close your eyes sharp sharp blunt blunt sharp sharp blunt sharp okay if you just straighten your arms i'll do the same on your arms The test of skin sensitivity Sharp. is usually carried out on the limbs, Sharp. but a whole body test might be requested by Blunt. medical staff. Be careful not Blunt. to puncture the skin when carrying out the Sharp, Sharp. test. Blunt. OK, I'm just going to test your reflexes, Mark. Reflexes are often difficult to test, especially if there has been little practice. To get the best response, tap each tendon with an equal light force and with sharp, quick taps. Usually, if a deep tendon reflex is abnormal due to decompression illness, there will be other abnormal signs present. In diving operations where pre-dive medical examinations are carried out, comparisons can be made with these earlier findings. Where there is a possibility of neurological decompression illness, always ensure that first aid, treatment by pressure and increased oxygen partial pressure are not delayed by medical examinations or waiting for discussions with medical staff. In summary, treatment by pressure and raised oxygen levels, where indicated, is the priority. Study neurological signs carefully and communicate findings clearly. If there is uncertainty with the findings, repeat any tests as necessary. Practice these techniques regularly.